The next rung on the pyramid is school and work. And as we've discussed this in our home, we've talked about the fact that for our students, for our kids, we want them to see their academic career as their work. Um, and the truth of the matter is, biblically, work isn't a product of the fall. In fact, just the opposite. We were created by our creator to be workers. As a result, our work is worship. Jesus gives numerous parables about work and workers. Um, we're created and built for work. That's what we do. And when we're students, of course, that plays out in terms of our academics. And then as adults, it plays out in our work or home uh, environments. And so with this, we can actually start to use this lens a bit uh, in the way that it was designed. So for example, one of the best things about the pyramid is that it can help us see that when we prioritize parts of our lives beyond where they should be prioritized, where we are allocating more time and energy in our day to places it doesn't belong at the expense of higher rungs on the pyramid, if you will, things will start to break down. For example, while work is exceptionally important, our academic careers are very important at this stage in our students' lives. If they start to take precedence over our families and over our walk with God or over our health, things will start to break down. Now, again, these are not rigid rules. Clearly, there are times when um, academics or work, a project at your office, uh, might need to take precedence, might need to come ahead of, might need more of the best of you than your family for a very short season, hopefully. But if that becomes the new normal, then relationships in your family are going to break down. If all of a sudden that takes priority over your health, then your health is going to start to break down. If we are spending all of our time focused on work and virtually no time during the week on our walk with Christ, guess what? Our walk with Christ is not going to be nearly as vibrant as we are called for it to be. And we have the tools to be able to thwart that. And that's exactly what this is. This is a lens to help us see that, yes, school and work are very important, but they are subordinate to my time with the Lord and my family and my health. That doesn't mean that they're not important. They are very important, as we'll talk more about in relationship to some of the things in a moment later down on the pyramid. But we are created to be workers. I think it's great to build into our students a theology of work and stress the fact that work is worship. When I'm at work, whether it's in academics or whether it's at my office, that I am called to work hard like I am working for the Lord at all times and that my work is an extension of worship.